Johnny Fax presents the 1956 F4 100 step side. It is a 50s classic truck. It is a second generation production from 1953 through 1956. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. So let's get started now. The second generation of the Ford F-Series is a series of trucks that was produced by Ford from the 1953 through the 1956 model years. In line with the previous generation, the F-Series encompassed a wide range of vehicles, ranging from light-duty pickup trucks to heavy-duty commercial trucks. In place of the previous bonus built series, Ford now marketed its truck range as a triple economy series. To further emphasize the model update, Ford changed the F series model from a single number to three numbers. Subsequently, this system has remained in use on all Ford Series trucks to present day. Alongside the naming change, this generation marked several firsts for the F Series, including an adjustable seat, wide enough for three people, power brakes, and the introduction of the Ford Omatic automatic transmission as an option. In line with Ford cars, seat belts were introduced as an option in 1956. The second generation F-Series was produced by Ford at 11 facilities across the United States. Ford Canada marketed the model line under both the F-Series and the Mercury M-Series nameplates. Ford of Brazil inaugurated local production with the model line producing it from 1957 through 1962. The 1956 F100 is a one year only body style. The 1956 F100 is easily identified as it has vertical windshield pillars and a wraparound windshield as opposed to the slope pillars and angled windshield of the 1953 through 1955. The 1956 model also offered a larger wraparound back window as an option. The powertrain details, well, in 1954, the F100 was the last year for the flathead engine in the U.S. models in Canada. However, the Mercury M series retained the flathead. From 54 through 55 saw the introduction of the new 239 CID overhead valve wide block V8 dub power kit. The six cylinder engine's displacement was also increased from 215 to 223 CID and the power steering was introduced as an option. In the succeeding years, the 239 Y-Block was replaced with the 256, the 272, and the 312. Models. As part of the model change from the first generation, the models for the F-Series was changed from a single number denoting each model series to a three-digit model number. As of current production, this remains in use today. Under minor revisions, the F-150 replaced the F-100 entirely, and many medium-duty trucks use the FX-50 designation. Among the pickup lines, the half-ton F1 became the F100, the F2, and the F3 were consolidated into the three-quarter ton F250, with the F4 becoming the one-ton F350. For the 1956 lower GVWR version, 
of the F100 and the F250 were introduced under the F110 and the F260 model codes. The medium duty F5, the one and a half ton, and F6, two ton, became the F500 and the F600 respectively, the heavy duty F7, F8, and F9, Big job trucks became the F700, F750, F800, and the F900 series. Well, if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch our video. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we're going to be doing all the 50s trucks. We'll be doing the 60s trucks, the 70s trucks. We'll maybe get into the 80s. Doubtful we'll get into the 90s, but you never know. And we'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day. Please look forward to the next video that we upload. And we'll look forward to seeing you back again soon. Thank you. God bless. Always take care. And have a great day. Just as a little reminder, if you'd like to stick around, we do have a few more minutes of some beautiful slides. And we'll have some accompanying music. Thank you again.